previously on Balls. It is the Balls to the Walls rock mashup. Right here, Balls Visual Radio on this uh, Monday afternoon. Simon, do you remember when you were at school? Do you remember you used to play that game six or out? Yes. You used to, <laughs> used to play that game. Yeah. Well, I tell you, if there was one oak who showed us how to play six or out the other night. So one and only Ryan McLaren from the Proteas. Welcome to Balls Visual yeah. Radio, Ryan. Well done, sir. Thanks, sir. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Jeez, that, that, that's a bit of pressure, let's be honest, eh? No, very much so. It's, um, look, I don't know what's worth actually busy batting there or whether you're sitting on the side watching it, but um, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, look, it is, it's nice to have you know, ended up on the winning side and um, you know, to get to, to see the team home was great. Be honest, how many times have you watched the replay? Uh, three times. Oh, it's oh, worth it lie. though. I'd watch it more. Yeah, Listen, Ryan, all you have to do is just stick your, uh, your, your DSTV on 200. It gets played regularly. You'll see it quite a few times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, look, it's, it's, I think it's something that'll, you know, stick with me for, for quite a while. Um, you know, it's, it's something that, the those type of scenarios that you, you practice for and you train for. But, um, you know, in the same token, one day you look like the hero and another day it might not have come off. So, um, but yeah, I'm obviously very tough, but you know, we could have pulled it off. I believe uh, the skipper, Faf Duplessis, said that uh, he actually aged uh, immensely after all that stress and tension. What did he have to say to you? Yeah, he was, um, no, he was very excited. And I think also we were all relieved more than anything else. Um, you know, just in the fact that we'd got ourselves into a position where we've, we should have actually won the game quite comfortably and then put ourselves a bit under pressure towards the end. Um, but um, no, he, he was obviously, I think, just very excited. But like he said in the interview, he felt like he got, got a few years older. So I'm not sure whether he's going to want to take on this captaincy job for 14 years. <laughs> yeah, it has been a little bit of a baptism of uh, fire for Faf. But you guys stood up uh, well, a, a bit of negative criticism after the first two games. But uh, what a way to end it off. And um, uh, it must probably a great morale boost as well for everyone, Ryan. Yeah, very much. So. I think we, you know, as you rightfully say, we were as a team very disappointed in in uh, the first two matches. Um, again, emphasising the fact that we were in winning positions and, and couldn't close it um, close it out with either the bat or the ball um, in the two games. So, um, yes, as you say, in the in the last game, it was a good morale boost. I think you know, in the, in the bigger scheme of things, it's uh, a building phase for us towards you know the Champions Trophy coming up, um, and then obviously the World Cup in in two years' time. So. Each series we play is pretty much a stepping stone, you know, towards those two, you know, tournaments. And, uh, you know, the, the fact that we could pull off this last one was a, was a good step in from a momentum perspective, um, you know, just to go into the next few series. And, and nice for you to solidify that, that all-rounder role of getting four wickets um, in, in the last game, but, but really uh, obviously a solid performance with both bat and ball. You'll be pleased about that. Yeah, I was I was pleased about it. You know, the, the thing is that after doing the hard work in Paul um, and having you know performed well in that game, I then went and wasted it all in Kimberley with a poor performance, and obviously disappointed with that. But you know, that's that's sport, and that's you know, that's the nature of the game we play. Um, but you know, I was happy to have responded well in the in the last game, and uh, obviously I, I was happy with the ball. But um, to have been there with the end and, and contribute with the bat to me was also a uh, very, you know, big boost just in the sense that, you know, to prove that, that I can do that job at number seven as well. Looks like you're getting some nice swing with the white cherry. Um, I am. I'm not exactly in the same mold as a Dale Stain, but, um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think there's slow, a lot eh? of, yeah, no, it's, um, you know, I hope, yeah, put it this way, if I can, I think there's a lot of hard work left and a lot of room for improvement, but, um, I'm happy they could have exploded a bit of swing that there was with the wide ball. It doesn't always come around like it's swinging in Kimberley when the ball is not swinging and, and it's a flat wicket. It's hard work for us bowlers. So, how many sticks did you pick up? Eight then? That was, uh, I mean, better than uh, Lonwabu, wasn't it, in terms of the average? Um, I'm not sure. I, yeah. I haven't looked and compared averages and so on. I think we were pretty much close with the you know, wicket, uh, yeah, with the amount of wickets taken, but I'm not, I didn't really look I at I think you had the better average of the two, Ryan, yeah. All right, okay. Ryan, now we look forward to, to Pakistan. And I mean, Pakistan, one of those those teams that uh, <laughs> I suppose as much as you think you can prepare for them, it's quite difficult because they, uh, they can come out unbelievably hot or they can come out um, pretty average. Yeah, I think that's, uh, that's the whole dangerous part about them. You know, they, they're extremely skillful, um, you know, and, and they've proved that in, in, in the one-day format and 2020 format of the game. Um, but you know they've they've brought a couple of new faces, and uh, you know there's a couple of seam bowlers that we haven't seen in the past and haven't heard of. So 
Um, you know, as you say, every every game is going to present a challenge for us because of the fact of their unpredictability. And uh, I don't think it's anything of you know you know being complacent. Um, they're a very dangerous team once again. So I think the Test series is going to be a, a tough series. I think in the, their spin bowlers are going to be very challenging and. Um, and also, they've got a couple of, you know, a very competitive, you know, experienced backers as well. So, I think the series in all is going to be a really good challenge for us, um, you know, in all three formats. Just out of interest, Ryan, what was Gary's debrief after the last game? Actually, there wasn't too much to chat, uh, chat, you know, and debriefing in, in that last game. I think, you know, we'd, we'd spoken quite hard and long after the, the Kimberley game. There was a lot of disappointment about that, and. Um, you know, we were really wanted to to come back uh, strong after the after that loss. So, you know, I think he was so you know happy um, with the performance in in Potsdam. And you know, I think just before the game, there was more you know, talk about encouraging the guys and trying to you know motivate one or two of the individuals to come up with a match winning contribution. So, um, I'm sure that was again, like I say, a step in the in, in the di- right direction for us in the next series. But I'm sure as we get together for the Pakistan series, they might have. There might be a bit more reflection as to what went wrong and, and what also went well in, in the one day uh, games against New Zealand. Yeah. Excellent stuff, uh, Ryan Willison. Congrats uh, for the upcoming uh, series against um, uh, New Zealand and uh, may you may keep on going uh, from strength to strength, young man. Thanks, man. Thanks for having me on the show. I'll catch you guys soon. Thank All you right, so much. There we go. Thanks, Ryan. Thanks very much. There we go. Ryan McLaren. Six or out, man. Yes. It was tense. So you got to be honest. It was an incredible shot. But it was tense. It was tense. But you see how I had the time to wait for it. <laughs> oh, but these guys have got incredible eyes. She I would have taken my head off. <laughs> but she would have gone over my head. I'm quite short. <laughs> yeah. Would have been a no ball. I would have got a free hit. <laughs> no, it was a brilliant, brilliant victory. Well done to the uh, Proteus. This is Ball's Visual Radio. Darren, Simon, Kate and John. Weekdays from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. Central African Time. Bulls.co.za